You're now diving into the fish tank. Sitting down with Seth Living, Seth, OJ, Ju- Juice Woo! Man, O-N. Welcome back to the Fish Tank, right here on the Miami Dolphins Podcast Network. Seth Levitt, DJ Preach in the dark. We're in the wee hours here at night because we went West Coast on them today. West Side. OJ McDuffie, Juice Man, how you feeling this evening? Not today, man. but this evening. I'm great, Big Seth, man. I'm excited, man, for our next guest, man. You know, yeah. we've had a lot of interesting things happen with a lot of Gator fans and a lot of Gator players. But when you bring a wide receiver in the game, the wide out, you know, I'm excited about that, bro. Absolutely. And especially that, you know, it, it's funny before the whole, uh, well, not funny when you talk about the pandemic, but before all this hit and before we even yeah. dreamed of doing this thing via Zoom, I was texting with Greg Camarillo. So let's introduce him. Greg, welcome right, to right, the Right, right, right. We're going to bring him in already yeah. or what? Man? Yeah. I, <laughs> all right. I'm here, fellas. I'm here. I, I, I'm a fan of the podcast, a fan of what you guys do. So I'm you know, honored to be here with you. Well, it's an honor to have you here in the tank, man. I know you've uh, certainly in the social media uh, sphere, you, you've commented on some of the shows and some of our guests and had a little back and forth, which has been a lot of fun. But you and I texted and I was like, when you coming to Florida? And you're like, man, I, you know, don't, don't hold your breath, right? You got a lot going on out there. Yeah, I've got, I, you know, I just mentioned this to my wife the other day is every year we plan on getting out there for a game. And, you know, the last couple of years, uh, we've got three little girls at home. So that's it. And then this was our year. 2020 was the year to get to a game. And, oh, no. you know, that's not happening right now. So <laughs> no, no, maybe, not maybe 2021, maybe that's the year. Well, you, you definitely have to do it. I'm telling you, Juice, if, if Greg comes back to the stadium, they're going to roll out the – they'll break out the orange carpet. They'll find wherever that is at the stadium. I mean, right. That would be a big deal. Damn and right. Greg Camarillo be. makes his way back into Miami. We're going to get into all of that. But, uh, yeah, so we were texting Juice, and he's like, man, I'd love to come on the show, but I'm not going to be down there. And, of course, I said, well, we like to do everything in person. And that shit went out the window real quick. <laughs> that shit did <laughs> real fast. <laughs> real fast. But, you know, here we are, and, and it really has opened up our world to get everybody from all over the country. So it's great to have you in the tank. A lot to talk about. Uh, a lot, in a short period of time, there's a lot to talk about. But before I get into any of this football stuff, so I was doing my research here in the 18 hours advance notice that I gave you to, to get on the podcast, and I kind of, my mind was blown, Greg. Are you Jewish? How did I not know this? I'm Jewish, man. It's a, it's a little known fact because I, I'm, I'm not like, and I'm not a religious guy, but my mother is Jewish, you know, um, so therefore I am Jewish. And oh, my yeah, dad, by law. So, by law, yeah. So, right. so I'm legit. I'm official. But, uh, <laughs> he's absolutely, yeah. Yeah, man. My, my mom is, is a Hungarian Jew. My dad is a Mexican Catholic. So I, you know, celebrate and represent both sides of that. But um, you know, being Latino and being Jewish in, in South Florida, that's, that's three quarters of the population right yeah, there. So man, I fit that... right in when I got to Miami. From what I understand, though, not everyone was as welcoming to you in Miami. You know, I understand there's a story about you trying to park for your first <laughs> game as a Dolphin. And it, I mean, <laughs> tell, tell me what happened, man, that, that, yeah, that, man. that first so, experience you know, in the lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm the new guy on the team. Everyone had been there the whole preseason, been to the stadium, you know, knows they know the drill. Uh, for some reason, I didn't ask, like, where, where, how do we get to the player parking lot? So, you know, flying across the country a week before, you rent a car. So I uh, just went and got the most standard, you know, Dodge rental there is, uh, you know, with the hubcaps and all. And, and I get to the stadium, and I realize I have no idea where the player lot is. So I just pull into the regular, the regular lot. Uh, they give you an orange yeah, pass. Bill Galanti give you that orange I mean, pass. I, 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 I probably had to pay. I can't remember that part, but I remember asking, <laughs> pulling up to each attendant and saying, you know, where is the player's parking lot? And when you look in at the car, it's a basic car. You know, NFL guys are known for having fancy cars. It's a basic car. I am not your stereotypical NFL looking guy. You know, I'm a regular dude. I'm were you in Borat costume when you were talking? Too German, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and so, and the attendants don't even know. So they're like, I go this way. And it got to the point where I'm like driving through tailgates to try to find my way into the, to, into the stadium. No one's believing me. Fortunately, I was hours early. So I got there on time. But um, I learned from that day, anytime I was on a new team or a new stadium, I got to ask, where is the player's parking lot? Because people aren't going to believe me showing up unless they think I'm the kicker. Was like, <laughs> right. Was panic setting in where, you know, like, what are you feeling? I didn't like being late as a PR guy and I had to get there eight hours early. I, what, yeah, what were you I, I am always super early, man. So, you know, I, I, I had 
at least an hour to spare for every game. I was always one of the first guys in there. Um, so I was fine. But it's just just like it's a rookie mistake. Ask where the parking lot is. You know, don't be an idiot. So, so you like to get there early. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get there early. I had to get there two hours on the button because I, I hated to stand up, to sit around, man, because I was so nervous all the time. Oh, you know, man. Play, man. I just need to, I need to get in there. Make sure my uniform's right, get my ankles taped, and go out for that first group. You know what I mean? I couldn't do yeah, it, man. I'm the total opposite, and it, it made me less nervous. And I was still nervous, but it made yeah. me less nervous knowing that I had plenty of time to spare because I like to get in there. I'd read the magazine, you know, see what the, 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 the matchup looks like that week, to read right. something interesting about one of my players, um, about one of my teammates, and then, uh, you know, I always had to make sure I had time to use the, the bathroom pregame to, to make sure I was ready to go get those ankles taped. I just, I like to prepare and I needed yeah. time to prepare. Well, it's a good thing you didn't have to use, go to the bathroom out in the <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. in a lot. In the potty lots. That would have been a whole other experience. Yeah, man. So, so to this day, people would send out a tweet like Greg Camarillo never has to pay for a drink in South Beach again. And it, it could not have been more opposite. So what do you uh, mean? Yeah, I got some boys in town uh, from home coming in town. So we, and this is before live on Sunday. So this is back in the day when there wasn't as much to do on Sunday. It was really, I'm a hip hop guy. There was only one hip hop uh, like club to go to. Uh, and, uh, and so we, we pile up in the car, we go down there. And we get to the front and we're like, let's, let's go. You know, like they had to be losing their mind. Right. I mean, I, I mean, had... this is, yeah, this is, we're going to have a blast tonight. This is going to be great. And we get to the front and the bouncer is not feeling the same way. He, he's, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're not, you're not going in. He didn't watch the game. And my, my boy's like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like <laughs> they just won the game. Like, you know? And he's like, nah, man, Greg, you're not going in. And I was like, well, somebody needs to like, I don't get it. You know, like, and at this point, you know, you're willing to spend some money to celebrate. Let's do it. Let's get a bottle. Let's have some fun. And, and the guy's like, no. And it, like the, 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 the boss guy, I guess, comes out. And come find out that the last time I went to the club, I wish I could remember the name, but, you know, football brain. Um, right. We, we got, a, as a group, got a table and one bottle. And this dude was mad because I didn't give him $100 to walk us from the front door to the table. I've ah, never done that in my life. Wow. I've never, I mean, yeah, you tip the waitress. You, know, right. you might slide the bouncer some money. Right. But you don't pay the guy who walks you to the table. Like, right. I appreciate your 20 seconds of your life, my man. I really appreciate that. But he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> pissed. Oh, man. And so it's. And he'd been pissed for a while, seemed like, right? He'd been pissed for a while. He's been, for a he's been yeah, waiting yeah, for a chance to was, hold that against him. He was you. happy. He's like, yes, Greg scored a Here touchdown. He he's yeah. coming out tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not partying. <laughs> And there weren't that many other options. So after, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, of some back and forth, uh, we eventually get in and uh, get after it, man. Because, you know, when you're ready to party and someone stops your partying and then right. you finally get to the bar, it's, it's green light go time. Right. Uh, so we, you know, it was a club that had ESPN playing on TVs. And it was like a moment like where I felt like, oh, my God, like I've done like I've I've arrived as a football player. I'm in the club partying and there's sports center top 10 playing and I'm number one on the top 10. And it's just, just one of those moments. You're like, man, man. this is, this is awesome. You yeah. just sit back and you just enjoy things like that. Yeah. Berman probably, I think Chris Berman's probably, you know, that on that late night that, that, that show yeah. they had, he had, yeah, that had to be their top play right there. For it, sure. it was number one. As that, well as, as well as that. Yeah. 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 So that's like a childhood dream come true, man. Just, just, you know, to be in that, to be in that environment. And it makes for a wild night, but what it, what they don't warn you about is the morning after when the interviews right. start popping up. <laughs> so I had I had a rough night, uh, a fun a fun a fun night, I should say a rough morning. And so my first ever ESPN interview, they take me to some little studio, put the, me and Cleo on camera, and I look like death, man. I sound like <laughs> death. It's just party, it, party it's still great there. night, terrible. I love it. JT's buddy Michael Jordan showed up at training camp. Yeah, you know what I mean, and you know, and he's trying to sneak out a little bit, go play a little golf. But your boy Cam, I know you're on <laughs> camera tight. I know you're on yep. camera tight. You end up putting MJ on the spot, you know, and bringing yeah. him, you know, into the team meeting room. What do you remember about that moment when oh, you saw man. MJ? It's, and, it's funny. How, it's funny how you introduced that too. You're JT's <laughs> boy Jordan. So, I mean, JT. And your boy is wearing, Cam Cameron. Yeah, yeah. JT <laughs> is known for wearing Jordan. He would 
wheel out boxes of Jordan stuff. And you would, you would think these are like 14 year old boys jumping on Jordan that right. they've never touched. These are a lot of millionaires in, in a locker room fighting for free Jordan from JT. And, and I, I would happily rock JT's triple X Jordan shorts because <laughs> they were free. Uh, so we all know that JT is boys with Jordan, but the meeting was announced to us like, Jordan is Cam's boy. And as <laughs> Cam called him in, you know, talked to him. Jordan quickly let us know that Cam was not his boy and that they might have played against each other in, in <laughs> high school or Little League or something. But Jordan has no recollection of ever seeing Cam on the court. And so, you know, I, I still tell this story, especially with the, the new Jordan documentary that came out. People were like, you met Jordan? That's, that's wow. You know, what? Like, yeah, he spoke at a team meeting. Well, what did he say to you guys? Was it inspirational? I was like, nah, he just told us we suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he basically told us to get it together. You know, quit right. sucking and get it together. Right. But, right. you know, it, it uh, great to meet the guy in a memorable moment because I just happened to be wearing some brand new white Jordans. Yes. Pulled it off, pulled it off my foot shamelessly, <laughs> like, 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 like a total groupie. Pulled it off my foot, asked him to sign the shoe. So to this day, in my closet, in the shoe box, I've got a Jordan signed shoe minutes after he told us we so he couldn't wear them anymore at that point. That <laughs> oh, no. It. no. I was going to say, hey, Greg, you <laughs> suck. <right>. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> no, oh, man. Before or after so, the Ravens game? Uh, that must have been before, yeah. So we, you were yeah. inspired by yeah. MJ to go. Sure, there you go, man. Jordan said, don't suck. So I went out yeah. there and I didn't <laughs> and suck. And you didn't suck. Good job. <laughs> Thank you.